Welcome everybody to our first ever extra episode. Now, call it what you want, 92.5 or whatever, or 92.2. Either way, this is six hours after episode 92, and it's either an episode two or a clip. Either way, this mod deserves a spotlight, and it is called the Assault Rifle and Submachine Gun Revolution, which adds balanced, fully automatic Dwarven Assault Rifle and a submachine gun to the game and you can see both right here dwarven assault rifle r1 and dwarven submachine gun r1 both look awesome i love the dwarven design to it but apparently the modder is going to be releasing a gray version because few people requested it so that will be done also a silencer or a silent version is going to be released apparently as well from the author which is great for stealthy characters because this is in the early stages it was released on the mod nexus mods a few about an hour ago two hours ago tops it's very very fresh and you can see we've also got machine gun and rifle ammo and it's the best ammo to use with these of course i've got gun mode on so i've got infinite ammo let's equip the assault rifle first and you see we get a crossbow spell added when we're using this i'm wearing the uh, dwarven power armor because might as well might as well it fits and you can see it's quite large. It looks awesome, especially with his armor. Now let's take this for a test drive. I'll do it in third person for you first. Show you the goodness of it. Nice smoke effect coming out the back and everything. So it's nice and cool. You reload after firing. Let's fire some balls. Yay, destructible bottles! Some of them are anyway. Either way. Really good. It'll be good to see if the modder could include some um, recoil, which I'm sure would be very hard to do, but either way, I'm happy as it is now. But like I said, it's early days. Submachine gun, we've got the R2 spell added. As you can imagine, smaller rifle. Still looks quite cool though. And I prefer this because, hey, like you said, turn? it's much faster than being a submachine gun than fire rate. See for yourself, that is really rapid. And I love that, I totally love the rapid fire. Now of course, as the description says in the menu, the actual rifle has very long range and high accuracy, while the submachine gun has a higher rate of fire, but lower damage as you can expect. Now, the base damage of these rifles is wrong on your screen of course, because I'm on a new character. The actual base stats of these weapons are 15 damage, 40 weight, 350 value for the rifle. The submachine gun is 4 Lots damage, 40 weight, 350 need? value. And that's the base stats. It'll change, of course, depending on your character. God might get nervous. And these are, of course, craftable under the with these weapon drawn. Dwarven section of the forge. Of course, they're upgradable, which is cool. They're also enchantable. Yes. And you can craft the ammo under the steel category, I believe. So, that's pretty much it for this mod quite a cool mod and it does quite a bit of damage which is awesome but it should do it's a machine gun so call it what you want you might not say it's a lot friendly i think it, <laughs> it it's kind of it's kind of hard to say it is but it's fun all around and hell you can't really put past these uh Duema to actually build this kind of shit i mean god if you wear this kind of armor you gotta admit this is almost worth a stretch as well anyway i'll show it in a bit of combat with a few npcs proper npcs large scale battles and then I'll show you it in cinematic style so you can see the detail up close. Now, for anyone new to the series, people know I've got a great hatred for Heimsker. And here are 70 Heimskers on their march to preach in Whiterun, to preach their holy crap. Now, let's try this rifle on these. A nice group of Heimskers. This is a submachine gun I'm trying right now. And yay, it actually increases the archery. Stop running, you fools! You cannot escape me! God damn it. Stop hiding behind rocks. Of course, if you let your finger off the mouse, you will reload. Automatically. So you can't burst fire, but that's something to do with the uh, animations, I'm guessing. Let's go to the assault rifle. Get the big one out. This reminds me of a 50 caliber rifle. That's a thought. If the modder should um, make like a massive sniper rifle, I mean, I know we've already got the uh, other rifles in the game, which are like single fire, but it'd go well with these. 
Did I see something go past my head? That must, yeah, arrows. I, for a second, I thought I was getting shot by someone else. <laughs> that would have been crazy. And it's not too overpowered. I mean, he didn't kill the guard straight off. He took some, uh, he took some bullets in the guard. So overall, I do like the power on these. They are overpowered. Like the mother says, they are balanced. So, really, they are usable. They are very usable indeed. Bodies everywhere. And of course you can melee. You can always melee. Gun butt. And then a few shots to the back of the head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'll show cinematic style now, so you can see the weapon up close. So, or both of them I should say. So, I'll stop talking here. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And comment below and check out today's episode, which came out about 5-6 hours ago. Thank you for watching everyone.